Good morning, Disposal Team. Um, I wasn't going to uh, video this vlog until I got to um, Disposal Team members' house today, but I'm still going there. But I'm starting it off earlier because I want to start this off on a positive note. Um, only two or three times out of my career, I would say 50 food challenges that, that they said you win a free t-shirt. It's a contract to me. When you go in and eat, eat the meal, you get the meal for free and you get a free t-shirt and maybe your your picture on the wall. That's that's a contract to me. If you lose, you pay. So I'm going to fulfill my, my part of that agreement if I fail. If I win what you say, please issue that. I think out of 50 t-shirts I'm supposed to get mailed to because they don't have any in stock because um, I don't think anybody's going to beat the challenge. I've got like three back. And guess what? This is the third one. And another place did this with the pizza box, which is very, very, very much inventive. And you can um, advertise while you're at it. Uh, the t-shirt is in this box, hopefully. I didn't open it up yet. But another pizza place, I'm not sh I can't think of the name right now, but they did the same thing, which was really, really smart. At first, I was like, oh, they sent me a pizza. And that's what the, the, the USPS uh, worker here uh, Kamisha said, she says, hey, I thought they sent you a pizza. Like, no, I think it's a t-shirt. So I'm going to get my knife from a, another disposal team member, Audi A8L. He um, sent me this knife, really freaking amazing knife. Tasha's not here so I can do this. Okay. Don't tell her. But I'm going to open this up and we're going to see if it is a t-shirt. Okay, if, if it's not a challenge t-shirt, it's at least a work t-shirt so nobody hits me on the side of the road. Oh, wow. Even better. Even better. Look. I got this shirt. And it says I conquered the big one. That's what she said. But didn't even know this would be included. Look at this. I got Caleb. Caleb was one of the disposal team members I did the food challenge with. I drove an hour and a half or two to uh, meet up with him. I'm not sure if you saw the picture good because of the glare. There you go. Um, but that is that is Caleb and moi. Uh, so I really appreciated doing that challenge. He, he brought his, uh, his family there to view the event. Um, he tried the challenge two times before and failed. But I'm, I'm glad we got the win. So... Um, appreciate that very much. And I want to appreciate Fox in Bono, Arkansas. Fox's uh, Pizza Den. They um, they went above and beyond to send this picture. Well, thank you very much. This is going in my room on the wall. Uh, so thank you very much, guys. Uh, and I'm off to store running around. If something happens, I'll get it on, on video. But um, I'm going to... Sports Freak 97's house. Um, that's what you guys know him as. I know him as Jeff Swartz. Um, he's been a disposal member for a while and very, very supportive of the channel. Um, he helps out uh, more than I think he should. Um, he does. He's very, very uh, generous. Um, he's very humble. He doesn't really like me talking too much about him. Um, he doesn't care about being on camera or not. So, but I, I like to get you guys on camera. If you are in the area, if you see me, hey, get a picture. Um, let me post it on the, the website. If you order any uh, merch or any goods, uh, take a picture of it, send it to me and say, hey, you can use this. And when you say that, that means, um, you know, I could post it on the social media sites. So, well, with that said, um, Oh, oh, almost forgot. He doesn't know because this is coming out after I go to his house, but I baked a gooey butter cake last night. This is for his co-workers at work, so he can bring the whole sheet in for work since he does support the channel channel on the up and beyond the call of duty. Um, so I'm doing that. He is getting, uh, what is he uh, getting? I think he's getting some chow chow, sweet and heat pickles, um, some sweet and onions and something else. But, uh, oh, uh, garlic, dill, kosher eggs, and the sweetened heat eggs. So, okay, well, I've talked enough. I will see you later. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.
on my way back home now. I actually stopped off at a local McDonald's that the inside was open um, and they started serving the uh, the lunch at 1030. I, um, I did the land air sea hack. That's a viral thing that's going on. So uh, a lot of times I don't want to do things, but I do it anyway. That's what she said quite a bit. Um, but I've done it because you guys want to see it and uh, it's just something that's happening and I have to jump on the bandwagon to get the views to pay the bills. Uh, I stopped selling hope quite a few years ago uh, so I um, got to do anything but sell hope right now to pay the bills. Um, if you not signed up for the TikTok and want to watch more of the speed challenge type stuff I'd kind of do a, a review type thing um, and make fun of eating fast and saying it tastes good, stuff like that. Um, but if you want to watch TikTok and see some more humor, um, I put that on, on there as well. I go as duh, garbage disposal. Um, and uh, if you missed the, the, the video of the one on YouTube, if you don't do TikTok, if you missed the one on uh, YouTube, um, I do have the video on YouTube as well. I will go ahead and put that up right now. Hopefully I remember to do that in the video. If not, uh, check out uh, Land, Sea, Air, Hack, the garbage disposal, and it'll pop up. That's what she said. Uh, okay, well, let me get home, edit this video, and head to uh, Sports Freak 97's house uh, for the man cave, uh, to sit in the man cave and maybe drink root beer and um, eat pretzels. I don't know. I don't know what you do in a man cave, I'm going to find out. That's why I'm going. We're going to do a man cave. What do you do in a man cave? Like what we, I mean, okay. I don't know what to say. I'll talk to you when we get there. Go to post, stop recording. Go pro, stop recording. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm here. I made it to Sports Freak 97's man cave. Uh, this is Jeff Swartz. Um, I know you saw some of the videos with the notorious B dot O dot B dot that I brought him over to see him. Um, I, could, I told him that, that uh, you, you're a strong supporter of the channel. Um, been here a few times. He, he gave me some uh, storage uh, items and stuff uh, in the backyard he had. Um, and he's constantly, every time I come over, he's got goodies for me. So I got some mason jars in the car, some uh, egg cartons. Uh, but um, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about the the man cave now. Um, I've ne I'm not going to say I've never been to a man cave because I've been drunk a lot and I've been to probably many of them and I just didn't know. I was just there for the alcohol. Um, what um, do you have? How many events do you have? Do you have guys from work come over? Or? Yeah, usually uh, we got people from work. A bunch of friends come over every uh, every weekend probably just for football. Uh, we do Super Bowl party here. Um, you name it, horse racing, like big horse racing. Uh, just what you just into sports? Yeah, whatever's on, we'll, we'll find something to watch. So um, I do have a quick question before I forget. I have to ask this. Notorious Bob told me to ask if you got a TV specifically for the cornhole championships. Uh, I have not. <laughs> I've not designated a TV yet, uh, but I still have room to add a fifth if I need to. Okay, there's still room for that. So. Hold on, Bob. Um, once you get it, maybe he might fly here to, okay, to, to well. watch. Um, I might make a bet or two while we're here. You know, there's there's four four TVs. We could do some kind of bets, uh, as you was talking about earlier. A little, uh, just little side bets here. Um, usually, I'm the guy that usually wins, and I don't watch sports anymore. You ever see like That's usually the ones who do happens? win? Yep. Because people that's technical, like my buddy, he screams, and I was doing work at his house. He was screaming downstairs, and, and she's like, and his girl's like, oh, he's watching that sports down there, football. That's how he gets. And um, he usually loses on bets, but he's like, he knows statistics and everything. It's like the more you know, maybe it's harder for people to make the right yeah, the decision. I think betting is just your first uh, instinct. Because you know? usually people that win the lottery are not from the state that the lottery's in. That's do they true. do it on purpose? I think so. I think it's, it's rigged. <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, don't go tell anybody I said that because nobody watches the channel hardly anyway. But um, 
I got, I brought some uh, gooey butter cakes. Um, he did want to get some uh, pickled eggs and stuff, so I got pickled eggs, some pickles, and um, this is for, for work. hopefully it lasts to work. You can leave some here, you know, but uh, maybe make it good into work. It's supposed to s snow. Uh, one of these TVs are not even, we don't even know the weather. It's on sports, because it's a man cave. You don't put the weather on the man cave, do you? No. 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 <laughs> we just that's look a, outside. <laughs> that's a strong no. No, that's what I was going to do. Of uh, That's what I was going to do. I was going to want a, 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 a skit of the the weather, just to have a window, yep. look outside and tell them what the, that's pretty much the only thing they know, really. They don't, because I think technically 12 hours out is more than most that they can really go. Yep. Probably 12 minutes, but 12 hours, as they say. But they, uh, when I got here, Jeff had had two different things. Uh, he makes uh, pretzels. You make different kinds as well, or just these? Just usually those two. Um, you know, it's just a regular ranch and then a spicy ranch. So I'm going to go ahead and bust this out and do a review right here. So spicy, is it really hot spicy? No, no. It's... Okay. This is the regular ranch. With I can't tell you everything that's in it, but mostly is ranch. Uh, yeah, ranch, a little garlic powder. Just gives it enough flavor. It is flavorful. It's binded together. Well, the glue for it is the vegetable oil. Yes. Okay. It's good. I like that. Let me go with the spicy. You can get it at the end. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, back up. I did, right at the very end. I wouldn't mind, I got that one like almost at the end. So it, a little bit here and there, it's not regulated. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's okay though. It's not like, it's not like one has nothing on it, but it's, uh, it's really good, all of them seasoned. You want some too? What's your dog's name now? Jax. Jax? Jax. Like Black Jax. Yeah. I have a, a chicken named Black Jackie because they're all female, so I can't say Jack. I think we named him, you know, off of uh, Sons of Anarchy, you know, Sounds Jax, right. Jax okay. Teller. Okay. <clears throat> well, you sniff my shoes? You guys, you want to see my, did you even notice the bling? This is the man cave. <laughs> this is the man cave. Look, guys. I got baseballs. I got a freaking uh, uh, bulldozer, a little backhoe, a bicycle, a football helmet, a concrete truck. Uh, I did notice the shirt, though. You know, that, that's... Who is the Bills, anyway? Is it college? That's No, that's uh, Durham Bulls. Oh, is that Denver? It's like a minor league baseball. Is it Denver? Um, I don't... I thought the D was Denver. No, it's Durham. Dorum. Dorum. It's, a, it's actually a movie, I think. Huh. Dorum Bill. So this is oh. just a movie. It's fake. It's a fake sports team? No, I, th I think it is a real oh, team, but oh. I think they made a movie. It's on my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> is there some food in my belly button? Okay, well, I did have a sports team on, yeah, and right. as you can tell, did you, did you see? Yep, I saw that too. I got this from the internet company. The internet. I went in to get a hat for sports for Man Cave. So I'm like, I got a charter hat. I can say, oh, it's the internet team. But actually, it is a charter hat that they gave me, and it's the Rams. Yep. Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk. So look at that. I'm all sports, almost. Almost. I'll be right back. I got some other stuff. I, you know me. Okay. A little extra. So I'll <laughs> be right back to, to, to get on with uh, the festivities around here. <laughs> Okay, guys, I was three minutes late. I actually was going to be on time two minutes early, but I had to stop. The gas station did not have what I wanted, so I had to go to CVS right here. But you think of a man cave, you think beer. I got root beer, and go. it's not too manly. It's zero. That's all they had. I was going to get regular root beer. It's zero sugar, but... It's root beer. We have to have two straws. They don't have one soda. Okay. We're not doing two straws. two straws. We're not doing two straws. <laughs> we'll do two cups. And I forgot. I was saying, I should have brought 
the country wine glasses, like a manly thrown oh. kind of cup. I forgot. We have popcorn. I got popcorn. Um, got some beef jerky. Oh. I think that's a manly. Uh, hot, you gotta have something hot. So I got hot tamales. I don't know if you guys know what all that, that it's just a, a, a candy that uh, movies ha used to have in there. They still have these, don't they? I think so. That they're real loud. And look what I got. Some beef jerky chew. <laughs> you gotta have beef, <laughs> beef jerky chew, okay? I never saw this, but I saw this when I went in to get the, the uh, I don't think I've ever seen get that. The root beer. You never saw that either? No. Yeah. And I have to support my team. Yes, I don't have a foam, a foam finger. I made this, and this is probably my hand because look at the thumb. Little, little thumb. That's what she said. It's my nickname. <laughs> don't laugh. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I think you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready to go. So we're going to watch a little bit of sports, um, and uh, we'll get back with you um, in a little bit. So the rest of the stuff's illegal, so we have to shut the camera off. Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as the saying goes, when I used to drink, I'm too drunk to walk, so I gotta drive home. Have you ever heard that? No, I never have. <laughs> they, they laugh when I said it. I, I, I thought that everybody would know that, but I guess that's where the St. Louis thing. Maybe. <laughs> too drunk to walk, so you gotta drive home. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, root beer, I'm all gone. But uh, I got some um, pretzels to take home. He's gonna let me take these home. So Tasha and I are really gonna uh, watch the movies and, and, and eat those. And this is some strawberry seasoning. It's not strawberries, but it's strawberry company. Yeah. It's but just barbecue uh, seasoning. Yeah, barbecue seasoning. So there's no strawberries in it, I don't think. But it's uh, there's a place. It's near Sykeston down in the Boot Hills, somewhere around there. Because when we was eating at um, R&O's Takeout, remember that one burger I did that was like only eight dollars, and you only yep. eat four minutes. Well, we um, we was eating there, and on Thursdays they have pork chops. Man, I don't know how they make money. It's like. $8 for pork chop that big, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. 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 That thick. Wow. That <laughs> thick. A <Let's> switch. <laughs> but um, they talked about some straw the strawberries, uh, about the seasoning uh, that they had and uh, going there. So I was like, I need to go there and do a video. But uh, I'm going to leave him with the, uh, with the, the uh, jerky dip. Is that what it says on there? It's got a jerky chew. Jerky chew. It's, uh, and um, leaving that here, I don't think he wants this, so I'm going to take this back home. Uh, had a good time. Um, didn't make any wagers. We were just talking about challenges and, and life in general and stuff that's happening about the Super Bowls coming up. Um, I'm going to try to bring him some um, country wine glasses for the man cave. I think that will really set it set it. Um, apart from other man caves. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, what's your um, tell them? What's your favorite teams? What's your sport teams? Well, the teams that I'm I, I follow a lot of New York teams since I'm from New York. So uh, New York Islanders, New York Mets, yes, New York Jets. Okay, just all is that the first pick? New York everything? Uh, pretty much, you know. But I do follow the local teams too. Okay. Uh, so so what's what would be um, like Super Bowl? What would be your your um, top teams to pick for the Super Bowls? Oh, uh, well, right now, well, for this year, of course, you know, you got the Bengals versus the Rams, so uh, I'm going to pick the Bengals to win, but uh, I'd love to see the Jets in the Super Bowl one year. I don't know if it'll ever happen before I die, but, yeah. you know, we'll see. Um, I don't know, but I, I, I like following the local teams, too. So, you know, Saints, um, but I do want to go to St. Louis and actually go to a hockey game in St. Louis soon. Cause, oh, you like the Blues? Well, I've been to 11 different arenas. Um, I just haven't hit that one yet. Oh, so. wow. So I want to okay. make that my 12th one. Okay. Well, that's good. And speaking of hockey, you said you're about to go somewhere for a outdoor hockey. Yes. February 26th is uh, Nashville Predators and Tampa Bay Lightning are playing uh, in the Tennessee Titans football field. So all right. they set up a rink on the field there. That is uh, probably doesn't happen all the time. No. No, I've never been to one of those. It's kind of on my bucket list, so I get to do it now. So. Okay, it's not that it's not that cheap uh, to because you got to pay for them to do the outdoor arena, and and that's understandable. Uh, 
It, speaking of outdoors, it's getting nippy. It's getting cold out. It was like, what, almost 50 something, 60 today, maybe? Yep. yep. And then it's probably it's dropping down. It's going to yeah. be cold. It's going to get, yeah, it's going to get low. cold and some ice. So. Yep, some ice. So if you say ice in Mississippi, you probably won't see anybody out on the roads. Um, nope. I hope it was not like last year. Um, but at least we have, we'll have water in their house because last year I broke the line to, to get Bob that I do toilet that. in yep. there. <laughs> so we had no run of water uh, for a few days. But I do have a backup. I do have water in the um, basement. I have probably 40 gallons of different, you know, one gallon, two gallon jugs. So I am prepared. Um, yep. Got plenty of food, beans and rice. You got like a uh, survival kit here, like. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff in the freezer. I have to cook quick. So. Well, you're only well, like 3.2 miles away, from, and I'm just saying only because I looked at my map yeah. <laughs> when I pressed it in. 3.2 miles so, away. So I know who has the survival so kit. So if you yeah. can, <laughs> if you can hike, I have uh, what do they call that? Uh, uh, not a bunker. Um, Oh, uh, what do they call that? A compound. Okay. You can make it to my compound. We have about 100 pounds of, of beans, different kinds. You don't want to get one kind of bean yeah. for 100 okay. pounds. So you get crazed. So you got all different kinds of beans. We have different kinds of rice, about 150 pounds of rice. Now, I'm not joking either. <laughs> I'm serious. And uh, we have ramen noodles, chicken or pork. Okay. So... Well. Um, I do, I do stay prepared, and I do rotate that. So I eat the older stuff, and then and don't just you oh. break it open and have mold. Three point two miles is not that far to hike. That's so. that far, okay. Yep. All right. Well, I appreciate it. I really appreciated the man cave. Uh, maybe I might come when there's a sporting event coming on. Yeah, come absolutely. In, maybe do a contest with some some guys. I'm sure they'll be up for it. You think? Okay, I think so. Okay, maybe a hot dog contest. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Have they ever saw the hot dog swallowing thing? Uh, I did show a couple of okay. them, yeah. So. <laughs> well, that won't be a... a uh, i got to uh, think of something else. But in person, though, it's still different. Yeah. You, you haven't ever saw it in person, have you? I have not seen it in person. And so. Guess what? I didn't have a hot dog in my pocket today. So maybe another time. Yeah, and I don't have any hot dogs in the house, so... Uh, so. Okay. Well, maybe next time. All right. Well, I, I, I want to appreciate it. I want to appreciate you guys for uh, tagging along and um, uh, joining in on this vlog. I wasn't really going to vlog today, but as I said earlier, I did get a T-shirt mailed to me because usually people don't do challenges and give you shirts back. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, I'll mail it to you. It's like your check's in the mail. Yep, exactly. But this is the second one, third one I got out of all of them that said they would send it. And out of three of them, two of them came in a pizza box. So the lady at the post office thought it was a pizza. I'm like, oh, no, it's, it's, it's pretty catchy. It's smart to get advertising out there with a pizza box. Oh, yeah. Yep. And the shirt was in it. And I got a plaque, like a, a picture of, of Caleb and myself. And they got a little uh, a plaque with it, like oh, a little picture. Very nice. So yeah, it, nice. That, that was a, a bonus. I called them. I said, you know, and the first thing I said is, hey, I call people on negative stuff, and I call people to appreciate them. I said, this one's an appreciative phone call. So I really, really thank him for that. So thank you again. And um, is there anything you'd like to say? or No, I think that's you're it. Not no, like thanks me, thanks for just, coming okay. by. I mean, <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, it won't be the last time. Um, he said something about a fencing project, and I'm going to come maybe get some scraps and uh, 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 scrap wood and maybe use some stuff for the house and maybe make some... Um, some more pallets out of them. I probably can make pallets out of those fencing. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, guys, thanks again, and I will see you on the next vlog. Can't say GoPro stop this no, time. GoPro. It's, it's a phone. Stop. Okay. See you later. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments. 
uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.